It's Air Max week and Nike bringing the heat. Got a couple new kicks you want to put on your feet, but on a load of three stripes. Just might get the crowd hype creeping in with some sneakers that'll do you just right. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. This here's the heat check. It's time to go. Yo, what up, folks? I am your host, Jacques Slade. Welcome to the Heat Check, and it is a very interesting week when it comes to sneakers. To kick things off, we have to start with the three stripes, as they had three pretty dope-looking drops yesterday. First, they had the Adidas EQ2 Racing, then they had the Adidas EQ2 Support Advance, and they had the Adidas EQT Support Refine. Now, both the Refine and the Advance rocked in an all-white upper with hints of turbo in the, uh, in the upper, and they look pretty nice in there as well. And the women, they had the Racing 91, which is white, but you can't really see the turbo in that model. Now, all three of the models dropped over at finish line the advance will cost you 110 while the refine and the racing for the women will cost you 100 dollars Looking at today's drop, we have the Nike Basketball Time to Shine pack as the headliner. First, we have the Nike PG1. This is an all black, but it has that translucent Nike swoosh on the side. That'll cost you 110. We also have the Nike Kyrie 3. Now, this one's going to cost you $120, but instead of that black upper, they have it in an off-white upper with the same translucent outsole and Nike swoosh. One of the surprises of the Time to Shine pack is the Nike KD9 Elite. As far as the pricing goes, Nike is keeping it at $150, but they actually redesigned the shoe to make it easier to slide your foot into it and also made a few other adjustments for the same price as the regular version at $150. And one of the last shoes in the Time to Shine pack is the LeBron 14. Now this one rocks an all white upper, but it looks super, super clean. It has that translucent blue outsole and it goes well with the translucent Nike swoosh that is on the strap. That will cost you $175 and the whole Time to Shine pack is actually available right now. If you've been checking out the sneaker blogs, you know that Adidas announced a bit of a restock to happen on Saturday. There are a ton of shoes that are restocking, or releasing, I should say. So let's get this started right away. There are a few different Ultra Boost returning. First, we have the Ultra Boost in black. That one's going to cost you $200. We have the Ultra Boost LTD in black and gray. Those are going to cost you $200 as well. They have the Ultra Boost for women, which is the Ultra Boost X, the LTD version. Those are going to be in crystal white. Those are going to cost you $200. And then we have the Adidas Pure Boost Expose. Those are going to drop in an easy coral and tactical blue blue colorway, and those are going to cost you $130. Taking it a step further, Adidas is also bringing back the Pure Boost, which is one of my favorite Boost models this year. They're going to have it in Trace Green, and that was going to cost you $140. And then they have the Pure Boost Climacool, and that's going to drop. And actually, those colorway for that one is clear brown, and the other is footwear white, and those will cost you $140 as well. On the Jumpman side of things, we have the Air Jordan 4 Motorsports. You've probably seen these a ton all over the blogs, but that white and blue does look really clean on the upper. Those will cost you $190, and they drop on Saturday. And then for the smaller foot people of the world, they have the Air Jordan 6 dropping. Now, this one is only going to be a grade school, but that's still blue and white on the uh, midsole looks really clean. Those will cost you $140. Of course, Sunday is Air Max Day, which means we have quite a few Air Max sneakers dropping. First out the gate is the Nike Zoom All Out. Now, this one is in the pure platinum colorway, and those are going to cost you $140. And Nike is going hard with the whole pure platinum thing, so you'll see a lot of that on Sunday. The ladies are actually getting some love on Air Max Day as well, and they will get a pure platinum version of the Nike Air Max 2017. Not a lot of news on the 2017, but they do look pretty clean, especially in this pure platinum. Those will cost you $190. Speaking of women, they will also get a version of the Nike Air Max LD Zero. These are actually dropping uh, in two colorways. One is black and the other is white, and those will cost you $180. A lot of Air Max on that LD Zero. And last but not least, we have the newest shoe to drop this weekend, the Nike Air Vapor Max Flyknit in Pure Platinum. I was actually lucky enough to get a pair of these early, and I really like the way they look and the way that they feel. That Air Max is super exposed, and you feel it. Just a totally different feeling when it comes to Air Max. You can look for those to release for both men and women. They're going to have them in Pure Platinum, and they're also going to have a red version as well, and those are going to cost you $190. As with every week, there may be a few things that I did not cover, but I wanted to give you guys the quick highlights of the stuff that I thought we'd be paying attention to, although I didn't mention the Air Max Master, so look out for that one as well. Uh, As always, I'm Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line, and I appreciate you. All right, guys, make sure you turn on your notifications, and I'll see you soon. Peace.